Welcome back everyone to Let's Play Final Fantasy VIII. I know it's been about a week since I've released an episode, so today's gonna be a long episode. Probably, uh, uh, my gameplay will probably be up to an hour and 15 minutes, hour and a half long. We'll see how long the actual video is. Okay, so last episode we took care of the Gabonian Missile Base. In this episode we're gonna see what's going on in Balan Garden, because the missiles are still on their way. We're gonna have to evacuate this place. Uh, just so you know, for the junctions for this uh, upcoming area, I do have encounter none on Quistus. I don't want to get in any random encounters, but for the forced encounters, everyone has Blazaga on their elemental attack, because Blazaga is incredibly powerful against uh, one enemy that we're going to face coming up. So without further ado, let's run on into the garden and let's start this evacuation. Oh, look at that. They're already, they already look like they're evacuating. That's good. Wait, what do you mean, kill him? So, this guy won't say anything, he'll just tell you to go, so let's just head on up to the next screen. And, uh, just so you know, if you, uh, if you bring Zell with you, which I did not, you can get a couple extra pieces of dialogue. So, just keep that in the back of your mind if you haven't played this part yet. Okay. Maybe this faculty member will tell us what's going on. What do you mean, what side? Who's, who's the Garden Master? We haven't heard of a Garden Master yet. Garden Master Norg. Um, you can play around, or play along, I guess. Um, you can only do it for this one area. You will have to fight the next area, so let's just say I don't get it. I'm asking the questions here. So he's gonna say, oh, you're one of Sid's supporters, uh, die. Oh no, what horrible enemy are we going to fight? Wow. A grat in the uh, mutant caterpillar that lives in the forest around here. wonder if we can one-hit these two enemies. There's one. And let's go number two. Yeah, that was really difficult. We will have an enemy we're going to have to hit multiple times in this upcoming area, though, so make sure you stay tuned for that. And we don't really get anything, but Diablos learns Mug. And let's see, what, what should we have Diablos learn? I think Diablos and Carbuncle are going to learn some abilities uh, in this upcoming area. Uh, let's see. I don't want to Mug anyone right now. I forgot what Dark Side is, so I'm going to do Hit Junction. Uh, I'm going to have him learn that. Because that way I can get another character up to a uh, 255 hit percentage, which will be uh, necessary, I'd say, for an island we're going to be going to. You know, with uh, certain cactuses on it. Maybe if you've ever watched Final Fantasy. Alright, so anyway, just uh, head on further into the garden. You talk to this guy, he's going to give you something good. Oh, they released all the monsters from the training area. Members of the Garden Masters faction? We just left here like a couple days ago. How do we not know about a Garden Master fa faction? And he gives us a Mega Potion. Probably won't use it anytime soon, but, you know, thanks for the effort. So, let's head on in. Oh, well, we see two familiar faces. It's, uh, you know, an anger management lady. So Rachel's is going to tell us, I don't know, they were talking about rounding up seeds, and now everyone's siding with either Sid or this Garden Master and fighting's everywhere. And Squall, maybe you should tell them about the missiles? No, oh, yeah, they have no idea where the Headmaster is. That's right, we want to tell Sid about the missiles. Yeah, well, if they don't know Squall... So Rachel says we got to get out of here. And Fujin gives him a nice little kick to the shin. So, uh, okay, so they're gonna warn everyone. Alright, that's good. Oh, yep, we gotta look for the Headmaster. Fighting's intense everywhere. I don't know, we, uh, we took out those two, uh, monsters pretty, uh, easily. And they're gonna say that they don't pick a side, because they're with Cypher, always have been, always will be.
Yeah, he's uh, he's the Sorcerer's Knight. Alright, so now that we got control of Squall, just as a point of interest, I don't think we can ever use this uh, functionality of uh, warping to places in the garden by the directory ever again. So, yeah. Alright, so basically uh, what we gotta do is we gotta find out where Sid's hiding out, so let's just check the uh, library first and foremost, and we're gonna find Garden Faculty. And this is just a grant, so I'll just cut this part out. Alright, Carbuncle learned Magic Junction. So, let's go give Carbuncle a new spell to learn. Uh, let's see, Carbuncle. Yeah, let's, uh, let's work on status def- No, I want status attack, because it's going to take 160 AP, and I can eventually get some more pain spells. Okay, let's see, let's junction up Squall, now that he has Magic Junction. So, Magic is probably, let's see... Probably Quake or Death will be best for that. Quake at 52, Death at 50. Quake it is. Death is actually a really good spell for your spirit junction. So let's head on into the library. And by the way, I'm only going to show a couple battles because the enemies are really simple. And you run in, they say, oh, thanks for your help, and they're going to basically say, the headmaster's not here. Oh, they're in there fortifying uh, the library and then trying to make them uh, spread themselves thin. Not a bad strategy. Yeah, so whose idea was it to do that? Oh, Zoo. Yeah, we'll learn more about Zoo. She'll be she'll basically be the one that actually takes charge uh, when shit hits the fan, like this time. While Sid just hides wherever he's hiding. And if you talk to this girl, she'll give us a remedy. If you have Zell with you and you talk to her because uh, she has a crush on him, she'll pull him aside and she'll give him a, uh, a Mega Phoenix. And uh, we'll do more with her and Zell and the crush later in the game because we can get a special item from it. So that's all we can do in the library. So let's head on up to the training center. You know what? Training center probably wouldn't be the worst place to hide, especially if they've unleashed monsters all over the garden. I mean, this is probably, you know, the last place they look. He, you know, he could go hang out in the secret area, which I guess a lot of faculty don't know about. No, oh, and they're, they cornered some seeds in here. Oh, but she has junior classmen with her. Well, you can't kill the kids. Yeah, well, why don't you just go through that door? Oh, and the kid says, I'm gonna fight too. <laughs> nice punch uh, to that garden master bitch seed. Or older student, at least. So, we should probably help him. And Swall swoops in with his gun blade, says you'll have to get past me first, and the student or seed's gonna piss his pants and run off. And this is why we put Blizzard on our elemental attack. Because it's a T Rex R who's weak to ice magic. Now, if you don't have the amount of strength that I have, let's see, I want Quistus to hit him first. Because she can cast Blind, Silence, and Bio on him. Just like that. So that's easy. So hit him with Pain. And that'll make him pretty much miss all your characters. And damage will get done every round. And yeah, that's that's 4,500 4, damage without even using Squall's trigger. So as I was saying, if you don't have the strength levels that I have, you can always put Card on one of your characters. And once you've taken about 5,000 uh, damage off of him, you can try to card him. The more damage you do, the easier your card is. That's just another option if, um, if you don't have the high level of strength that I have. Or, like I said, I mean, Quistus hits him with that pain spell and he's pretty much neutered from that point on. Okay, so let's go talk to the seed right here. And she'll give us another remedy. Alright. We are gonna need a lot of remedies for a certain, um, Guardian Force. But that's, uh, next disc, so... Just continue stocking them for now. And by the way, these long hallways between the center of Garden and the various uh, modules or wings, I believe they're also gone once we complete this little part of the game. Alright, let's check the uh, parking garage, I guess, next. Alright. 
All right, and this is the another um, fight where you can use elements uh, to your advantage if you're not strong like I am. This is a Grendel, and if you remember, we had to card them in um, the area near Galvadia Garden. They're actually weak to Earth, so um, that's why my attacks aren't doing so much, except for Squall, who's insanely powerful. So, if you're not as powerful as I am, go ahead and use uh, Quake. If you have Quake, at least, to um, your elemental attack. And you'll take care of the Grendel, no problem. Oh, we got a Dragon Skin. Yeah, we don't really need him now. And Brothers Learn Spirit Junction. So, Brothers... Let's see, what do you want to learn next? Uh, we already have Element... Eh. We already have Elemental Attack. Let's just learn HP plus 20, or plus 40. Why not? I mean, I'll eventually use it, so we can learn it for now. Actually, I might not be using it, but that's another story. Oh, and we found Sid. Awesome. Yeah, nope, just a hologram. Do they not have any other cars here in the parking garage? And uh, it only looks like they have like five spaces. So that's pretty much all for the parking garage. You can get a tent. Tents are nice. Although it's not really like Final Fantasy VII where it takes forever to find a place where uh, you can rest up. And we got paid and it looks like we went up a, uh, a rank. So that's good. That's nice. All right, let's go to the dormitory. Let's take care of this garden faculty member. One caterpillar or mutant caterpillar, whatever you want to call them. That's it. So that's all for the dormitory. You don't get any items. All you can really do is head to your bed and rest up. Although, I do have Quistus and Renoa with me. Oh, never mind. Never mind. So next thing, we're going to head to the cafeteria. Because, you know, we want some hot dogs. And we just had a bomb there to take out, so nice and easy. Now this is the other area where you can get additional dialogue with uh, Zell. I don't, I don't even know if they give us anything. Oh, okay. Oh, Gishel Greens. Nothing we need. Yeah, basically you get a little scene about um, hot dogs if Zell's in your party. They'll be like, oh, give these guys all the extra hot dogs. And they'll be like, oh, sorry, we ate them all. Dicks. Now before you go to the next area, we're going to go ahead. We're going to go ahead and we're going to take um, Blizzard Junction off our characters. Because there's an enemy that's immune to it. So let's go to Junction. Take it off. I would just junction fire um, to my ability, but there's going to be a bomb there too, and bomb will absorb or at least block fire, so let's just take Blazaga off. There we go. So let's head on into the quad. And you don't have to fight this uh, faculty member. I figure why not. Oh, they need reinforcements. I'm your Huckleberry. So there was a glacial eye that uh, apparently is resistant to ice magic. So... Just head on down, run over here... And the acrobatic seeds will stop you. So we're just gonna say, I'm with the Headmaster. And again, no one knows who the Garden Master is. And let's go talk to her. Okay, you're gonna hold up for a little longer. We'll get an X potion. Oh, and he had most of the seeds evacuate, because he said something about the true battle for seed is yet to come. Huh. Okay, so only one more place for us to check. So 
So the last place for us to check is the infirmary with Dr. Katawaki. So let's head to the infirmary. And yeah, you have to check every uh, every uh, place out of the garden basically in order to um, advance the plot. Oh, and it looks like they got some uh, little seed on seed battle. And they're gonna fight with their hands or hold their invisible weapons. So let's help them. Oh, it's a Granado, just like we faced uh, after going to the secret area with Quistus. One. Two. And done. Yep. Nice and simple. Alright, so let's see what's going on now. Oh, the Wizard Stones. Not bad. Alright, let's execute this dickbag. Wait, what are you- Yeah, why are you helping him? He's with the Garden Master. He was trying to find and kill Sid. Let's take his fucking head off. And she's gonna force Squall to give her a hand, even though there are two seeds standing right behind her. Yep, Sid's not here. Zoo might know. Yeah, well, we can't find Zoo. We need to warn him that there's missiles on the way. Oh, yeah, that's right. So he tells the doctor she should leave, and she's like, Oh, missiles are gonna be here? Well, I have to stay to treat all the injured people. So if you try to talk to her again, she'll say, she'll give you an elixir. And you can leave. I don't know how you're gonna help people if you're dead, though. Um, yeah, so whatever. So talk to this dude. It's Nita, who we graduated with. And in typical Squall fashion, he's gonna forget who Nita is. Pass the seed exam together. I can't believe you forgot. Yeah, just like Squall to forget. Alright, so... Yeah, we checked all the areas. I guess we can check the second floor and see if Zoo's up there. Oh wait, there she is, running towards the elevator. Aha, we're gonna catch you, Zoo. Alright, let's talk. Oh, uh, but apparently she already went up the elevator. So walk forward toward the e towards the elevator, which the car has already returned. Fastest elevator in the history of the world. And it'll drop you off on the second floor classroom, so... Or the second floor, I should say, where all we can do is go to that one classroom. And we'll go down this hallway right here. Can't go into the classroom right now. And you go, in, go further down this hallway and we encounter Zoo, who's ready to fight. Yeah, Zoo, just trust us. So she's gonna take us to where uh, Headmaster Sid is after we tell her that missiles may be heading this way. Uh, yeah. I really wouldn't give a shit if they were going anywhere else. And of course, Headmaster Sid is in his office. So they uh, they they put out all this information that he was in various areas, and the Garden Master faction decided, well, he's probably not in his office. So we'll take the elevator, it'll go up to the third floor now. And we'll just head on through. Once Zoo uh, tells us he's waiting for us and... Oh, you're gonna lead the evacuation. Okay. Alright, Sid, let's tell you what's going on. Oh, the intercom is, of course, down, so we can't announce the order to evacuate. Oh, he's got the disciplinary committee and zoo taking care of it. Not bad. Assist them and then evacuate. Well, why aren't you gonna come with us, Sid? 
Tell you later. He might be dead later. I don't know if he's putting his hand to his forehead or if he's trying to give us a uh, half-assed seed salute. Yeah, what are you going to do, Sid? You're going to see this to the end. Don't just give up. Yeah, you can always rebuild the garden. What are you... A way to save the garden? What are you talking about? And then he's, uh... He's got to fall down because he's an old man. Yeah, how can we really defend the garden against missiles? So, go talk to him in Squall. Oh, I'm too old for this. And Squall says, uh, I'm a little more younger than you. I'd like to handle whatever it is you're planning. Oh, we don't have time to play 20 questions and missiles are on the way. Because you might screw up, because you want to do more than announce the evacuation. Oh, because it's my home. I have too many reasons. I don't know why. Who cares? Just tell us what to do. And this is a time for Sid to have a private laugh about Squall's personality traits with missiles on the way. Dude, they could be here in the time that you're wasting. Tell us your plan. Okay, so the building was a shelter before it became garden. Use that key to open the lock on the elevator. Okay. Give you access to the medical director or the doctor level? Okay, whatever that means. Rumor has it that further below the MD level, there is some kind of a control system. Oh, you've never seen it, but you heard that it was there. Oh, so really this is just leading us to our, uh, our death, basically. That's pretty far-fetched. And as we find out, if we get it wrong, we'll die, so... Let's give it a shot. Alright, let's go. Okay. So, if, if you've forgotten to get, like, Cypher's card or anything from Sid, you can go ahead and do that now. I'm gonna run towards the elevator, not gonna get on, because right now I want to junction everyone with fire magic on their elemental attack. So, we'll do Faraga for you... Faraga for you. And Faraga for you. Alright, now that we've done that... Squall has to make a big production on it using the key. And then everyone can get on and we can go down to the MD level. Uh-huh. So those are the missiles on their way. And of course, while we're on the elevator... Yep. And... It died. So I'll talk to the characters and they'll say, Ah, oh, you gotta find a way out! Well, good thing we're stuck in this metal box with missiles on the way. Now let's check out the control panel. Not responding. And once that's done, you can check the little hatch here in the floor. Yeah, nobody's been down here for a while, so let's just climb down. Oh, we got our music back, too. Looks like Renault is, like, sitting on Squall's shoulders while they're climbing down. And keep your eyes on the elevator as you're climbing down. I think if you stop climbing, I think you can actually die. Because it's starting to move. One... Two, and three, and the way that way is blocked by the elevator. Alright, so let's go lift this little hatch up. There we go. And Quistus is going to notice, an, or Squall, excuse me, notices an oil stratum. So watch for enemies weak against fire around here. Uh, do we have an elemental attack? Yes, we do. 
Oh, I don't... Don't... I should have just said no, we don't. I, I remember how to junction magic. Just stop talking. Okay, so let's just head this way. There's really only one way that you can go. And once again, I do have encounter none on because there's no enemies that are interesting to fight down here. So we climb down, we can't, you know, there's only one way that we could go forward, so let's run in here. Oh, and this part, the wheel. So Squall is going to try his hardest to open it. Okay, so I'm gonna pressing the button rapidly. And I failed. So now Renova's gonna try to come help me. For some reason, I can never do this with uh, two people. I know other people playing the game have been able to do this with uh, two people. I always need the third person to actually do it, even though I'm tapping the button as fast as I can. And we're gonna fail again. Yep, so... Quistus, why don't you come give us a hand as I adjust my wrists. So, with the three of us, all tugging in opposite directions, it looks like. Am I hitting the wrong button? Let me try another button. I think I might have been hitting the wrong button, so let's try it like this. There we go. Had to hit the square button, not the triangle. Okay, it's done. Now that we've turned it, the only way that we can actually go is back through this door, and all of a sudden it reveals... Another passageway down with more ladders. Alright, so let's go down this ladder. Again, it looks like Renoa is sitting on Squall's shoulders. Alright. Man, this is a pretty expansive place for uh, no one having checked it out, like, in years. I mean, did anyone else besides Sid actually check it out before they built the garden? And why was this here? So we can run over here, and at this draw point we get full life. Let's have Renoa draw. Stocked 14. Full life will be a spell that we will eventually need 100 of for all of our characters, or at least all of our main characters. And... Uh, looks like we've come to a dead end. Aha, well there's a ladder there, so let's just climb more ladders. Or at least have the uh, team leader climb the ladder. Because it looks like it goes to up there. Alright, we have no choice. I'll go check it out. So you actually got to run over to the ladder, start climbing up. And as we're climbing up... There we go, I was waiting for it to happen. It falls, and of course it's going to smash through, and we smash through first. Oh, and it kind of... There's a bridge over there that it kind of lowered. Alright, well let me uh, let me look at this control panel a little bit. Ah, okay. That did something. Oh, it opened it up. Look at that. So, we'll climb down the ladder, and that's how we get out of here. Yeah, we just smashed through glass, but we're fine. We're the main character of the game, Quistus. We're gonna make it. Yeah, no time to be relieved. Missiles might be on their way. Oh, they are on their way, Squall. Don't worry about that. And in case you don't know where to go next, always follow the flashing green or red light. And Squall, Squall just slides it over, and we have another ladder to go down. So 
save point right here if you want to save before continuing on. I'm just going to go ahead and flip this switch. And this is your last chance, basically, uh, to put a uh, fire elemental on your attack. If I could stop having to clear my goddamn throat as we get paid again. Oh, two enemies. Oil Boil, I think is what their name is. Now they're weak to fire. Nothing really worth it to steal from them. They can do an attack that'll knock you down to 60... It'll knock 62.5% of your health away. Uh, so it won't kill you. But let's try to take him out first anyway. Yeah, there's one done. Are you gonna hit us with your oil blast attack? Huh? What if I don't attack right now? Oh, whatever, you're done. Yeah, so the attack they use is called Oil Blast. It'll knock like 63% of your health away. Might give you a chance to use a Limit Break on these guys if you need to. But they didn't use it on me, so whatever. No big deal. Some Wizard Stones. Oh, and 20, uh, 20 AP. So let's see, Siren learned something. So we gotta continue on. Let me just set Siren. I don't know if she has anything else to learn. Let's see. Oh, she, oh wow, she does. Yeah, let's learn Treatment. There we go. And if you look off in the distance, there's another ladder to go down. Like we're playing shoots and ladders with those shoots here. Ah, uh, here come the missiles. Oh, and are they finally gonna see land after dropping over the ocean? Yep, they're speeding towards Balam. The hell? They have eyes? What? Now whatever you were gonna do, Squall, better do it quick. So, this is pretty much what we came here for. Well, what are we all- what are we supposed to do any, uh, time in this game? Just start hitting buttons. Yeah, even the headmaster doesn't know, just start hitting shit. Maybe it'll work. Didn't work the first time, turned again. Oh, that did something. Yeah, do you know what you're doing? No, how the hell am I supposed to know what I'm doing? Oh, apparently we did do something. Oh, it's, go it's raising this platform up. I don't know if that's good or not. Yep. Sid's office. Boom! With an elevator to boot. And apparently we're moving. Oh, the missiles are incoming. Wow. So that's how much they miss with an error ratio of 75%. Wow.
Oh, apparently we're kind of like flying. Oh yeah, this is the secret, okay. Now let's go talk to Sid. So, Renault says, come on Squall, let's go outside and see what's uh, going on. We'll go down, and you get a little uh, additional video if you bring Renoa. So that's why I brought her with me. And didn't send her on the other mission. So let's take the elevator down to the second floor. Uh, you can talk to anyone that you want to, but... Basically, everyone's freaking out because they're like, Oh, uh, the garden's flying. Oh, if we've been outside yet, we should go check it out. It's amazing. Yep, so we're gonna go through this door out here. So that's a little extra video you get from uh, bringing Renoa. So now we'll head back in. And it's going to be like, ah, oh, get to the deck immediately. We're about to crash. So, Headmaster, get back to the bridge on the double. What, uh, what's going on? Oh, the controls aren't responding. <laughs> and we're going to crash right into the town of Balam if we don't do something. So, what's it time to do again? Well, first of all, have everyone yell at us. Squall, can you think of something? Come on, Squall. Do something. Yeah, once again, everyone thinks we should know. So, we'll just start hitting buttons again, and hopefully it'll work. We're gonna crash into the sea! Everyone, hold on! Oh. Apparently it floats. That's pretty good. At least it floats. And Headmaster Sid says, oh, we'll just drift along for the time being until we figure out how to maneuver the garden. Oh, so we can relax. I know what I want to do. <laughs> Sid's worried about where he's going to change. Just floating along in the middle of the ocean. I like how the game freezes on this in the Steam version, it doesn't cut completely to black. And Squall's laying alone, thinking in his bed. Not much to do, how long have we been floating? Still have to give your report to the Headmaster, I have a lot of stuff to ask about. He's trying to reestablish order in the garden. And Squall's gonna stand up. I don't know if that's a window, but he says we're in the middle of nowhere. He's bored. Yeah, when uh, people don't have stuff to do, they think too much. Well, some people. He's worried about how the other team is. The Sorceress, Cypher... No, oh, Renoa came to our room when we were sleeping. You looked so adorable, sleeping like a baby. 
Come on, get up. Let's go. Oh, she wants a tour of the garden now. Yeah, just show her around since, uh, you know, we're apparently stuck on here right now. So, you can give her the tour, but I think this is going to be a good spot for me to stop. Um, after this, we're going to have a couple um, mandatory areas, and then after that, it's pretty much open. We'll be able to explore almost everything in the world, with a few exceptions. So, uh, yeah, the game is definitely really going to open up. But like I said, I'm going to stop it here for now as I'm losing my voice. So, as always, ask me any questions you may have. Go ahead and smash the thumbs up if you like the video. Leave a comment, and I'll catch you guys next time.